No charges were filed after a dog attacked a child in a North Charleston dog park. News 2's Charleston County reporter Natalie Price has more. It was here at the dog park in Westcott Park that a dog attacked a child. No criminal charges are going to be filed against the owner of that dog. I spoke to a legal expert to find out why that is. A dog bite can be a serious injury, especially when children are involved. They're low to the ground, so they're crawling in dogs' faces, so we tend to see them more on the head, face. Certain dog bites definitely require closure. Um, plastic surgeons often get involved if they're, they're pretty extreme, so they should just all be seen by a clinician as soon as possible. A girl required medical attention after she was attacked at a North Charleston dog park on Saturday. A dog ran at her and bit her face, according to her father. However, no criminal charges are facing the owner because no laws were actually broken. The dog was not required to be on a leash inside the park. The authorities are going to look for two different laws, in my opinion. One is the leash law, where the dog's running at large. In this particular scenario, they were in a dog park where the dogs are allowed to be off of leashes or other restraints. On the entrance to this dog park, a sign with rules is posted. It states not only are children under the age of 16 not allowed in the park without an adult, but that small children shouldn't be in the park at all due to their tendency to scream and run around, which can trigger a dog's natural instinct to chase. But this doesn't mean the incident won't see a courtroom. A civil case is still a possibility. We are what's called a strict liability state, which means you don't have to prove that the owner of the dog was negligent in any way. The owner is actually going to be automatically liable for any damages that were caused by that bite. They might try to assert some sort of defense based upon the child being under 16 years old because the rules of the park did prevent that, but I don't think it's going to make a huge difference in that case. An incident like this is just one example of why whenever you do go to a dog park, you should always check the rules and the recommendations. In North Charleston, Natalie Price, Count On Two.